In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and add your own weapons to your game, just like this one, as well as how much control you have over how it looks based on the race, the gender and everything. Just a spoiler, you have full control. So let's get into that. So the first step will be to add our weapon to the database. So to do that, of course, we go under Blink, RPG Builder, Economy, Items, and now we create a new one. And I'm going to call this one a uh, Great Axe. I'm not really going to go too crazy with the name. And um, for the icon, I'm actually going to use one of our custom icons, which is going to match exactly the look of the weapon, because that's what we do. So when we release weapons or armor sets for you, um, not only we release the 3D models, but we also make icons for those. Anyway, so I'm going to use this one. And here we have, of course, to select the weapon type. So we're going to set it to weapon. Everything in this list, this list, this list, and this list are things that you can create yourself under types. None of these is, um, you know, uh, predefined for you. You can create your own as many as you want. Now we're going to select great axe here and it's going to be a 200 weapon as well as a legendary because I like to feel cool. And I'm not going to focus too much on, um, other category or sections of that because some of those things are not weapon specific but they are more like for a video on items in general but what i'm going to focus on is the combat one because this is only for weapons so if i go ahead and set this to two we're not going to use auto attack abilities in this video but this value is going to be taken in consideration when calculating the attack speed of um you know of yourself when you attack with this weapon now this will be of course affected by other things such as attack speed stats etc but yeah, anyway and this is going to be uh maybe i don't know 55 to uh, 78 damage and lastly here we have an auto attack field so in this case as you can see it's going to let us attach any ability we want and uh, i'm not going to use this again in this video i'm going to make an auto attack ability video later but this basically allows you uh, to have unique auto attack for pretty much any weapon in your game so this is really cool because something that's really hard to craft or maybe a weapon that's super rare to drop from a boss or something could have a very very unique auto attack and i think that's pretty nice for your players lastly i'm just going to add a couple of stats just to make the tooltip look a bit better but um, maybe some health lifesteal but this is really not needed for uh, this video so 25 percent lifesteal all right, that will do it. We can have, of course, random stats as well. But again, let's try to keep it short. So here we have now the visual part. So this is where you define your model that will be used for um, this weapon. So I'm going to use, like I said, one of four axes. We have hundreds of those stylus weapons, bows, any kind of weapon type pretty much. So feel free to check them out. But you can use your own packs, of course. So I'm going to drag and drop this one, um, which you saw at the beginning of the video. And I'm not going to drag and drop anything in the material, but if you wanted to also assign a material to this weapon, you could uh, with that. And that's it. I'm just going to go ahead, save, and go in game now. So after this, uh, as you will see, we will need to take care of the second part of the video and you will understand very shortly why. So let me um, give myself the weapon here. You can of course obtain this item now in game in any way you want by killing a monster, crafting it, etc. But just to keep it quick, I'm giving it myself from the developer panel. Now you see when we hover it, let me go to uh, full screen. Um, we see the attack speed, the damage and the stats that we added. But when I equip it, we have a problem here, right? I think we can agree that this looks really painful. And this is where the second part of the video comes in. So the second part of this video is about showing you how for each race and gender in your game, you can fully control um, how a weapon looks and where it appears on your character. And it's definitely not where we want this to appear. So what we'll do is leave play mode. And now we're going to take a look at our character prefab here. This of course could be yours. And um, here we go under player appearance and let me go in the prefab mode. It's going to be a bit easier. Okay. So here we have weapon slots. And if we add one here, you see that it lets us select um, any of our weapon types. So I'm going to go ahead and select great axe because as you can see right now, the reason it looked that way is that when we equipped the weapon, it didn't find an entry here with great axe. So it's kind of... Uh, pretty much spawns a weapon inside our player here. 
at the very base of it, right? So we didn't tell it where this weapon should appear. So that's what we're going to do now. So to do so, you, you of course, like I said, add a new entry, select the weapon type that you want to assign a slot for. And now all you have to do is drag and drop any game object inside your character that should be where this weapon is parented to. So what I'm going to do is use the same as the um, one under the axe one, because it's actually going to work perfectly for our uh, great axe here. And I'm not going to have to assign anything in the left hand in this case, because it is a two handed weapon. So those are never going to be used. But as you can see for the one handed axe, uh, we need to assign both because those can be um, equipped in any hand, right? The left or the right one. Now, um, so like I said, if you wanted your weapon for whatever reason to appear, maybe on the spine, maybe if you wanted, uh, you know, um, when you're not in combat to appear on your back or something, that's what you will do. You will drag and drop this here. But that's it. Uh, we are done now. Uh, one last thing actually I want to say uh, that's very useful for this uh, weapon slot system is, um, as you can see, now this allows you to have 200 weapons which are not using the same hand as, you know, uh, a main hand. So in this case, we could have a bow here that will use, for example, the left hand as, you know, the, the hand it is held on. So, uh, and the axe will use the right hand. Okay. So yeah, I think that makes sense. And that's it. Now we can go in game and it should already look a lot better. And your character, I think, will be uh, very happy. So let's try. Yeah. So now let me go under the, the sun. Now you can see that the weapon is indeed um, spawned where it should be in the right hand. And also when we walk, it is also looking proper. Now I feel like this weapon looks a little small compared to the character. So what I'm going to do is show you, showing you um, how can we easily tweak that. So first, usually when I do those things, I uh, make my life easier by posing the animator of the character. And this will allow us to uh, tweak the position, rotation, and scale of a weapon without having it moving around when we do that. So now I'm just going to select the axe. As you can see here, we have the axe selected. And I can very easily scale it, right? Uh, and move it around. I could even rotate it if I wanted to, but uh, I don't think I need to. I think it looks quite nice, you know, in the hands right now. Now, keep in mind that as you watch this video and do this with your own character and models, which might not be your own models, uh, you will probably get some very weird results sometimes because certain publishers have their scale all over the place. Um, yeah, that's sometimes a mess. But that's, this is why this system exists in RPG Builder because no matter how bad the pack you're using was set up, RPG Builder helps you to completely negate those issues by, you know, setting custom values and uh, yeah, so you don't really have to worry about that, but you do just need to set it up. So that's it. Let's see how it looks in game. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, we don't need to tweak it too much anywhere right now. It's just for this video. And now we can, you know, enable the animator again. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. So now, as you can imagine, if I leave play mode now, these values, uh, those changes we just made are going to be completely reset, right? So how do we save them? Th you have two ways. First way is to go under your weapon here and to look at um, the weapon transform value section here. All right. So um, here you can either manually save them to this specific weapon and nothing else. If you really wanted this to never really be reused because maybe that's unique to this weapon. So you could go ahead, add a race. In this case, we're going to select the human and add a gender. So this will mean that whatever values you put here are going to be initialized on this weapon whenever a male, so the race male of gender, oh my bad, the, the race human with gender male is uh, equipping this weapon, right? Now you could add, um, another gender. So for example, for the female humans, and you can of course add a new race uh, if you add elves, orcs, and so on, you get the idea. But I'm not going to do this in this video because I want to show you how we can create those as templates and reuse them. So here, for example, I already made one before the video, but we will just make a new one. Uh, and I'm going to call this my grade, my grade axe. Okay. Now uh, we are going to add a race humans, gender, male, like we just did. And instead of manually typing those values, because pretty much here we would have to copy all those values in here, right? 
I'm just going to drag and drop the axe. You see that here I have the axe selected, this one, and I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And this is going to automatically assign those values. Same for here. And again, we don't need the left hand, right? Because it's a two-handed weapon in this case. And if I go ahead and save that now, we have my great axe saved as a template. Here we have 100 hacks, as you can see, and we can freely use those in our project now when creating new weapons. So uh, let me show you really quickly. Uh, I'm going to unequip this weapon. Remember how big it looks here. And I'm going to equip it again. Now it's smaller, right? And we're going to go under the great axe. And here we're going to select use template, my great axe, save. And here again, you will see uh, the scale change. And that's it. Now it is safe and it's done. We never have to do anything. And now if we were to create other great axes, for example, we could reuse those weapon values. So the transform, like the, the template, and not have to worry about anything. Now, something really cool as well. Let's say that we create another great axe that should, and we want, you know, to save some time, not create all those values from scratch, but we also don't want the values to be exactly what the template are because maybe this axe needs to be even bigger. So the way you will do that is instead of uh, having use template on, we can untick this and instead we can up, double click on whatever template you want here and it's going to tell you, hey, are you sure you want to overwrite? So in this case, you know, you're going to lose all your data here in your template um, uh, transform thing, but in this case, we have nothing, so it's fine. And we say yes, and here you can see that it assigned all the values we created in the template before. But instead of using the template directly when we equip the weapon, it is going to use those values. So now we start not from scratch, we start from the template, but for example, we could have a scale of uh, two, 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 and um, two, two, two here, for example, and save. And now I'm, it's probably going to look ridiculous, but here it is. Now we have this great axe um, with a scale of two, and we still have the template here. Um, if we go here, my great axe, and you can see that the scale hasn't been touched here. So that's good. Um, let's unequip this, and I also want to show you actually how this works, of course, for uh, any type of weapon. So if I go ahead and equip those two 100 axes, as you can see, you can set those up exactly um, how we want and in combat as well, right? So that's it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope it was clear. If you still have any questions after that, definitely let me know um, on Discord. I'm always happy to help. And uh, I hope you see also some improvements if you already used uh, RPG Builder before 2.0. Let me know what you like about the new systems. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.